19 Austin police officers face assault charges after protests in the summer of 2020, and their supporters are increasingly accusing Travis County District uh, District Attorney of manipulating grand juries by not having the officers themselves testify on their own behalf. The KV defenders found the issue of whether officers testify during those investigations is a little more complicated than just a talking point. Here's KVU senior reporter Tony Plahetsky. When 19 Austin police officers surrendered on assault charges from the 2020 protest, it was the first time any entered the criminal courthouse as suspects or defendants. During weeks of a grand jury investigation into their uses of force during the protest, none testified on his own behalf. What's problematic is this continued style of presentation uh, from the DA's office. In recent weeks, prominent Austin attorneys representing eight of the 19 have continuously accused DA Jose Garza of a biased grand jury presentation, including in this interview last month with the KVU defenders, saying that officers subjected to a grand jury investigation are being, quote, excluded from testifying. You just have uh, an elected DA who is presenting whatever case he wants to present uh, to a grand jury, and, and we feel it's continually being done in a way to generate indictments that uh, we think would not have been issued had a fuller picture, uh, a neutral, independent picture been presented. Attorney Doug O'Connell told FoxNews.com in an online article that, quote, the police officers themselves are not being invited to testify before the grand jury. And he also tweeted February 9th that officers were, quote, not invited to tell their side of the story at grand jury. But an examination by the KVU defenders found that whether police officers testify before the grand jury isn't as simple as whether he or she was invited. In fact, we found that most criminal defendants don't get to share their side of the story until their case gets right here to the courtroom. Garza said prosecutors do, in fact, notify Austin police officials of the time frame they plan to take a case to the grand jury. If they know an officer has an attorney, he says prosecutors also share that same timeline. In my over a year term here at the district attorney's office, we have not turned down a single request from a law enforcement officer to testify in front of the grand jury. Garza adds that the DA's office also keeps a running list on its website of police officers under grand jury review and a general timeline prosecutors will present the case. There is a great benefit um, to the grand jury and to the district attorney's office's understanding of the case to have an officer come in and testify under oath in front of the grand jury. We would welcome that. The two attorneys representing most indicted officers, including in other force-related cases aside from the protest, acknowledge that they also have never asked that any of their currently indicted clients testify. In a statement, they said, quote, Garza continues to churn out police officer indictments behind closed doors, claiming to have given a fair presentation before quickly citing secrecy rules as the reason he can't back up his statement. Legal experts say that nationally, it is unusual for any suspect, a police officer or not, to appear before a grand jury. Candace McCoy is a law professor at John Jay College in New York. If you think you've got a case as a prosecutor, you're going to go and just get going with it. I would imagine that a uh, prosecutor would be willing to hear from a uh, suspect personally if there is some major piece of evidence the suspect wants to give that the, that the prosecutor knows is likely to come out at trial. Peter Mess, a Texas Tech law professor, said most defense attorneys do not want their client to appear before a grand jury because that testimony can later be used against them. If I had a client that was subpoenaed to go and talk in front of the grand jury, uh, the first thing I'd do is teach him about the Fifth Amendment and tell him to keep his mouth shut. As for the notion that Garza isn't inviting officers to testify. It's political theater. I mean, you know what? That's all it is. They're, it's politics. 
A spokeswoman for the state's largest police union, the Combined Law Enforcement Associations of Texas, confirms it will ask state lawmakers next year to pass a proposal requiring that officers be invited to testify before a grand jury. They could still decline. Meanwhile, Garza's office is still planning to soon present several other cases to a grand jury concerning additional officers' uses of force in the May 2020 protest. For the KVU Defenders, Tony Plaheski, KVU News.